Welcome, welcome to a new DIY by Mosey London. So to begin with this maxi dress, I've just pinned up places like under the bust where the skirt starts and where I want the split to go. So the markings that we need to do for the cutouts, we're going to do the split that's going to be at the front. Um, we're going to mark out, well I marked out already where the split's going to start all the way down to the bottom and then we've marked out the sides marked out both sides but when i cut it i'm gonna fold it in half just to make sure it's the same for what the side's gonna look like i'm so excited um and yeah let me show you the next step as i'm now folding the dress in half to make sure the both cutouts are cut evenly What I've done is secure the mark out area, so what we're basically going to cut off. But I've just put a multiple of clips there so it just doesn't shift. Okay, I'm not looking as fly as my new Insta upload, but anyways. This result we've got from the maxi, and as you can see, the sides are humongous. So, <laughs> if you've had this trouble and you've cut too much fabric, or really because the jersey um, has some weight, and because there's kind of nothing here to kind of hold it up and the tension's gone, um, we kind of need to remove some fabric anyway and bring it up so this is just so if you cut too much fabric this could happen so generally it's dragging down more than it was before the first step we're going to do is remove the extra fabric from the back and we're just going to fold up to however however much is necessary um and once this is folded up We then have the front extra fabric, now because we've taken it out from the back, to do the illusion of the knot. Now we've done the illusion of the knot, as you can see the split has come up as well and it's like more in a suitable place before it was really low. So now we've done the illusion of the knot, we have the nice cut out, this will now be taken in so we have a decent amount of space and the fabric will now have something like to sit on like a bit of your hips um, or your bum. So you can also do like a bralette style and bring this in down with the centre and kind of bring that up, make it work. <laughs> and what I'm going to do first is remove whatever I need to remove on the back and then when we do the knot I'm actually going to try and put it to the side this is the final design that I would like to achieve and as you can see with this knot at the front now it being connected you can kind of move it wherever you want a larger cut out here or here once you take it in necessary fabric will kind of go in with the knot so that's amazing but it's an even amount of fabric so first let's do the back we're going to have a stitch in across the back that's in the center
So this is the first draft. I'm now gonna show you if you want like a bralette style. And just to be clear, the pieces that we're using to wrap around these knots um, are the scraps from the cutouts. So it'll be really key to keep them. <laughs> 